Hello and welcome to Build and Deploy. My name is Mitesh Bhopale and I'm the Senior Cloud Architect with Oracle for Startups. Today, I'm thrilled to be here with Rohit Shetty, Head of Engineering of Digifarm. We are here to talk about how Rohit and Digifarm's team are using Oracle bare metal GPUs, Oracle functions on Oracle cloud infrastructure to help farmers and other agribusinesses uh, to determine the precise inputs they need to maximize the yield. So Rohit, can you walk us through the overall flow of the uh, training models which are using for Digifarm and identify the services which are using in OCI today? We at Digifarm make use of uh, publicly available Sentinel-2 imagery and process it further to get a uh, highly accurate uh, deep result uh, field boundaries uh, and which we provide to other agriculture businesses. So our process starts by downloading uh, the satellite imagery from Sentinel-2 satellite missions, uh, which is made uh, available to us by European Space Agency through their publicly available buckets. We take these images, which are of low resolution of, uh, of around 10 meter per pixel, and we have a proprietary machine learning process which enhances these uh, low resolution images to something of one meter per pixel resolution. And these enhanced images are further manually delineated for a small region and we generate training data sets from that. Then we have our uh, deep learning training instances, uh, which, which take this training data sets and build model, which is very specific to the regions that we're interested in. And in the next step, we take this model and the enhanced imagery that we get from the uh, resolved imagery and generate very highly accurate uh, field boundaries uh, polygons. The output of uh, this, which is uh, the field boundaries and the enhanced images are both stored in the Postgres database and in the uh, Oracle object storage. Mm -hmm. So once we have this data set, we serve this to our clients using the serverless setup that we have using OCI functions and OCI API gateways. All the training and inference that we're doing are happening on OCI bare metal uh, instances which have uh, accelerated GPU support. Uh, so you said that you're using bare metal GPUs for Digifarm's training instances. So why did you set up the compute instances this way? And how does this have helped the performance of the seeded boundary application? So our training and inference uh, jobs that we have, they are very resource intensive and need uh, super powerful uh, GPU and CPU instances. Mm -hmm. And as you know, bare metal instances have uh, no hypervisor or other soft underlying software that's available on your regular uh, uh, virtual machine. And these softwares usually have something like 10 to 15% of uh, performance stacks. And this, uh, this is very critical for us because uh, our processes run for anything from 24 to 30 hours at each stage. And even a 10% improvement in the performance usually means that we are saving a couple of hours. And because we are a, a small team of startup, uh, this time is very crucial for us, uh, not only from the delivery perspective, but also from the cost perspective. So you also said that you're using serverless architecture. So how is Oracle Functions helping you in using serverless architecture? Uh, so our user load uh, generally from the from our clients who are uh, other ag tech industries, uh, ag tech companies uh, is very spiky. The reason for that is we generate our data and notify our clients and they query our APIs to get the data set into their system and serve it further. And this generates, uh, this results in a very spiky workload. This is very difficult for a sm small team to handle because we need to be very mindful about the scaling of the infrastructure uh, if it was done in a conventional way. And given we are a small team of uh, engineers who would rather focus on our product development than maintaining a uh, infrastructure, uh, early on decided that we'll go a serverless way of doing things. And Oracle uh, functions uh, is, is better suited here because it scales depending on the incoming request and we don't need to worry about server maintenance or any of the underlying stuff and all of that is on the shoulders of OCI engineers. Uh, so I also see in the reference architecture, the API gateway, which is connecting to OCI functions. So can you tell me a little bit more about the role of API gateway in your application? In, in a conventional uh, web application, we would have, uh, we would have had a load balancer and an instance pool and a auto scaling group and all of uh, those set up for scaling the instance pool up and down depending on the request. Uh, even then we would have had a server always running, listening to request uh, ready to serve the, uh, serve the customers. 
but uh, but because our use our our user load is very spiky, uh, we have uh, used serverless uh, architecture where we have API gateway that always listens to the incoming request and uh, triggers the corresponding OCI function. And what this means is we don't need to maintain any of the other uh, other setup conventionally we would have had to set up uh, for the scaling and handling of the request. And this not only saves us time from maintaining all of this. But it also uh, makes uh, a financial sense for us because we are only paying for what you're using, and uh, we we just uh, don't worry about anything else. We just focus on our business logic and product development, and uh, it makes it, it makes sense in that way for us. So you have been part of Oracle for Startups program. So how has this program helped you in this journey so far? So Oracle for Startups has been great for us. uh we are a small team of engineers and uh, we are a, we are a list stage startup and we had uh, we needed very uh, highly capable gpu instances and cpu instances uh, but also as you know they are very costly and uh, these financial constraints usually uh, are very difficult to deal with and being part of oracle for startups uh, meant that we have access to world class cloud infrastructure uh, early on we had all the capable gpu and cpu instances that we needed for our workload uh, initially when we were iterating on our product so it it made a uh, very much uh, financial sense for us to be part of this uh, journey and not only for economical reasons but also for support and architectural reasons uh, oracle uh, teams have been great uh, to us uh, we have a lot we have had lots of support from you and your team regarding uh any architectural reviews or any nuances of the platform so overall it has been a great journey for us and uh, we hope to be uh, work with you for a long time so one last question how do you plan to expand your footprint on oracle cloud and what are the next initiatives planned so we are we are exploring uh, okay which is oracle kubernetes engine for uh, for scaling these uh, training and inference instances depending on our workload on the job queue uh this is something we are actively looking into and second thing that we are looking into is the size of the, the data that we are generating because uh these are very enhanced images and the data that we generate are huge uh but we also want to maintain them for historical reasons we are exploring oracle object storage is uh, archival tier so that we can save money but also save our data for the historical uh, uh reasons uh finally on the security front uh as we have a uh, api gateway uh, which serves our, our clients through our apis uh, we don't really have to worry much about the security but still uh, ddos and uh, ddos is an active uh, attack vector that's still open so we are looking into wf which is oracle uh, web application firewall uh, to protect us not only from ddos but also on other attack vectors that can arise from having an open api available to the internet So these are few things that we have in our pipeline, and we are actively exploring them, and uh, hope to have them in production very soon. This has been built and deployed. Thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned for more upcoming technical conversation with OCI customers. We hope to see you soon. Thank you.